Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my very first first impressions on this foundation which is the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless Foundation. So if you do want to see my first impression on this then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the packaging. Now I absolutely love how classic and simple this is and I really like how the lid of it is gold and black which I absolutely love. It just makes the packaging look quite expensive and not tacky and cheap which I do re really like in obviously a foundation um, package. This is a 3-in-1 so it has primer, concealer and foundation in so that means that you do not need a primer or a separate concealer. So this is just a really really good all-in-one foundation. We have 20 in it so obviously it is great for when you're going outside and obviously in the sun. Mine is in the shade natural which to be honest looks really really pink which I don't think it's going to match me but what I obviously am going to do obviously I will be showing a demo of me using this and obviously my first impressions on it um, but obviously if it is too pink I will have to either send it back or obviously mix it with a paler foundation so that it does match me but I really like the packaging I think I bought this for £5.50 from eBay but in Debenhams and Superdrug this I think is about £8.99 so it is relatively cheaper on eBay so obviously if you do, don't want to pay that extra couple of pounds then you can obviously get it off from eBay which I did. I'm going to start off with the demo. This does come with a pump which is really really nice. So I'm going to be using one to two pumps as you can see. It is quite runny. So I'm going to be using just a angled round top kabuki brush and I'm just going to start off on the sides of my cheeks. Now on this camera it doesn't pick up the correct colour so I will try and zoom in. It is actually quite a good match, it does look a lot darker in the tube than when applied onto the skin. It's quite easy to blend which I like. But with a definite, definite medium to full coverage. So I'm just going to put this in pattern motions and obviously buffing this into the skin. As you can see it does create like obviously that dewy sort of finish but obviously once it dries it does dry to more of a matte finish. So far I'm really liking this foundation. It's just a nice medium coverage foundation. It really covers blemishes really easily and I do really really like the finish. So far I really like it and then obviously I'm just going to do my forehead. It does blend in really, really nicely using this brush so obviously it is good for blending out easily with brushes because obviously you can get some foundations that just go really really streaky with brushes which this one doesn't. It does actually match my skin tone really really well. It's definitely more on the pink side, which mine isn't, but obviously that can't be sorted really. But as you can see, it just gives a really really nice medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable. I will do another layer on this side to see how nice it builds up. And as you can see, it does not look cakey whatsoever. It's really really nice. So that is what it looks like after I've got this hair off my face. As you can see, it's just a gorgeous medium to full coverage foundation. And it does cover blemishes really, really well. I have got quite a few spots down here and here, which this foundation is covering. So overall, I really, really like this foundation so far. It definitely is a medium coverage and it's really, really easy to blend out, which I like. The, co the colour I didn't think was going to match me as it does look really really pink in the tube but once it goes on my face it does match my skin tone which I'm really really pleased about because I didn't think it was going to be a completely different colour for me. It is sort of drying to more of a matte finish. It's definitely dried. It does not feel tacky whatsoever. It does feel quite dry and like powdery which is nice because obviously I don't like the tacky sort of sticky feeling foundations that you get but it is really really nice it does dry really really easily it doesn't sit in any of my fine lines as you can see it does make your skin look quite airbrushed which 
which I really like because I do have large pores around this part of my face which this foundation just covers and just makes it look really really softened which I really, really like as well so overall I absolutely love this foundation it is probably better than my Rimmel 25 hour one because it does give the airbrush finish definitely great coverage definitely does what it says it's definitely it does conceal spots and um, which you cannot see now with this foundation so it is obviously a three-in-one foundation which I love give this a nine out of ten simply for the fact that it just gives a flawless coverage it dries really really quickly and obviously I will be back in a couple of hours to see obviously how this foundation sort of lasts and obviously fades on my skin because obviously I do have a combination skin so obviously I do got oily here and obviously dry around the rest of my face so I'll be right back in a few hours to show you how the foundation is going. Hey everyone so I'm back and it's now four o'clock which obviously I have had this foundation on for about an hour now. I absolutely love it. It hasn't budged whatsoever on any parts of my face which I absolutely love. Definitely loving this foundation more than any foundation. It's lasted so so long on my skin and it still has that matte finish. It's definitely dry and not sticky where a lot of foundations on my skin do tend to stay really really sticky on my skin. This does not do that. This is absolutely amazing so that was my very first impression on the foundation i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like these sorts of first impressions videos and you want me to do some more then please leave a comment below or give this video a thumbs up please like it and also subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys